Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty big leaks and pretty big production rumors going on right now. It does seem like it's pretty much confirmed and they actually haven't officially announced this as of yet but it does look like there's a brand new PlayStation 5 being made, being produced, and also maybe hitting the shelves very, very soon. Now, of course, if you guys did just go get your PlayStation 5s, don't worry about it. Just kind of sit back and watch the video itself. But this is very, very intriguing to go and see, and especially with all the news of the Switch OLED edition, that really didn't necessarily go and change too much, and it was just a very, very slight, like more so external with the screen itself update. A lot of people are kind of curious on what this is going to mean. So we've seen this update here before. I guess it's also coming out from Japan. We have the pictures. We'll showcase up everything. And I'm kind of surprised this is even happening, but we did see a little bit of like leaks and rumors about this a few months back. And it may also mean that those leaks and rumors we saw means that it basically is this. So uh, let's go and talk about it. Let me go and show you guys all this proof and all that. But yeah, we actually have another brand new PS5 on the way. If any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on for Sony leaks, rumors, gaming news, and all of that, as well for our brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controllers, always linked down below. Twitter and Twitch room as well if you guys would like to go and follow and hang out on either or. And of course, sign up for Weeble, deposit $100. You guys go get free stack, free money. What amazing you guys go buy any type of cryptocurrency, you guys go get free Bitcoin. Always link down below and definitely smash the like button on this one because I'm very, very excited for this to go and hit the American shelves. And also, it's going to be some pretty good stuff too as well. We'll kind of talk about maybe throughout this week. So, as I mentioned, we actually do have a confirmation right now. There's a brand new PlayStation 5 digital edition now starting off the production. We're going to show you guys all the proof and stuff in that in a second. And basically, as we I written this down uh, and basically got this off of Reddit too as well, it appears a PlayStation 5 Digital Edition revision. It was actually the current model number is CFI1100B is now being listed by Japanese retailers. And what this actually is, so basically number two major things. So number one is a brand new listing product, as you guys probably know, or maybe if you guys saw from the Switch OLEDs, basically that just means that there is a brand new edition. Like for basically these stores, like you can compare like the normal Switch to the Switch OLED. They just have different product listings, retail numbers, et cetera, et cetera. So that's like not one major thing you know. It's a different listing and a different product. Because why would you have a PS5 digital and a PS5 digital with like a different type of screen? Uh, as well, there actually is also revisions mixed on in with it, which actually, it's not like a crazy revision. Like it's not like there's new hardware or like you guys are going to be scared. That's why I said if you guys already have your PS5 or want to get one in America, don't stress it too much. It's just a very slight revision to maybe make it a slightly better build quality or maybe even remove some stuff. So apparently what they're doing with this is actually a 300 grams lighter than the previous model. And that's the CFI 1000B and also features a different screw. So you guys might be thinking like, is this matter? Like how much does this matter to me? Well, one thing to kind of note is that it's really, really nice to see that they are actively changing up the design. Uh, when it comes to the actual consoles themselves so if they can make it a little bit more fine-tuned or a little bit more efficient it makes a lot of sense like I'm, I'm down with that i'm cool with that and as well it's always very nice because that means that they are still consistently trying to prove it the best they can so there's like literally people in board meetings that are like hey this ps5 could be better what could we get rid of what could we optimize more is there maybe a better like supplier that we can maybe find like a, like you know better motherboards on better screws on better externals on to save money or he also offered us a better product at the same price a lot of stuff like that like that always happens a lot with these big production companies so let's go talk about the proof and also show a little bit more too as well when it comes to the internals on this but it's kind of cool that we're even seeing this in general so uh number one is this is actually the confirmation tweet out over here so basically this is all from japanese retailers you guys can go and see this but it's kind of hard for me to go. I don't speak Japanese. Maybe someone in the community can maybe go and do some proper translation for us. But this is just basically stating also on the dates too as well. I just want you guys to also closely look at the date. Remember, if you are American, it's usually on the reverse. So like, you know, people like in Japan would do month first and then date after. We kind of do a little bit differently in America. But then you guys know this actually will be dated for tomorrow. Actually, I'm not sure if today is actually the 20th or not. I have to have to go on time. What day is today? Today is the 20th. So as, as of today, we actually have been seeing these listings floating around and popping on off. And they also do have them on many various other Japanese retailers. So very intriguing to see this. If any of you guys happen to know and can go a little bit more in depth for this, you guys, I would love to, love to hear more information. And this is also on the quote tweet, as you guys can see from over here, from the same person over here, as basically talking about the actual product listings which, as I mentioned, kind of also double supports it, that it is a brand new product rather than an old one. Now, 
does this mean it's going to be phasing out the PS5 digital? We're not 100% sure if they're just going to completely wipe them or if there's maybe like a double whammy where they're making both of them and they're both pretty much the same exact thing. So there isn't a major like, you know, difference, like there's nothing bad kind of thing like the Switch and Switch OLED. Uh, it's like pretty much the same hardware, so you can play the same games, but at the end of the day, it's not the biggest difference on what you guys get, you know, besides the screen, if you care about that. So I'm assuming it kind of just is like that, or it's just they'll slowly phase into whatever they can produce more and go from there. Now, I do want to make a quick side note, and because like, it's cool that we're having a small like revision on the hardware, but the main thing is, and I hope this will probably excite you guys, and I may make a more of a in-depth topic on this if people want to hear it or whatever, but the PS5 digital might be ma being made even more now. Because if, like, I'll have to do a little bit more research as we see this for the next, like, few days or so. But if they're actually making revisions, that means that they're trying to go make more. They're trying to produce more. And as, as I mentioned, if they're trying to go produce both of them at the same time, it could actually mean they have another supplier to go and basically make sure the uh, actual making process, like, production process, is more efficient. So this actually might be really, really good news for the PlayStation 5 restocks, especially anyone out there who's trying to get their PS5 digitals. Because with the PS5 digitals, we all know they don't make as much of them. They don't make as much money. Sony themselves would rather sell the disc edition. And they also make more disc editions as well. So if they're also have more production, having more different types of brands for it, that could also mean two major things of a big flood in the market where they have more stocks showing up. Or as well, it could also mean some really good news of just them like just supplying and making more PS5 digitals. I make a little bit more in-depth on that in maybe a few days or so because I want to see actually when I have like proper proof proper production numbers, proper like restock numbers, and all that when it comes to Japan, and then that'll be a really nice defying figure. Because as I mentioned, these are all in retailers, like official retailers, and like the Walmart, Targets, GameStops of Japan right now. So we can kind of see how it kind of flows and how it works and how if there's any major differences, if they keep on only making these, etc, etc. So definitely make sure you guys are subscribed for the proper updates whenever it does kind of come on out. But this is actually really good news. And now, these are actually more of the production issues. As you guys can see, it's not like a really big, crazy change, but we don't usually see too many major changes mid-gen. Like we usually do see a lot more major changes whenever it goes to like say the PS5 Pro or like PS5 Slim, and they kind of do like a lot of the revamps that maybe they kind of noticed from producing these for like, you know, three years, two years, maybe issues people had, or maybe like, you know, certain features they want to have in there, or like design-wise that people maybe preferred. So for this, we can kind of go and see, as we mentioned, it is a lighter console overall, but the main major big thing too is also the screw changes, which I'm going to be honest with you guys, I think is maybe a nice little better adjustment. I actually do have one of my first PS5 videos I made on the channel was literally a tutorial on how to actually screw your stand in. <laughs> it actually has pretty okay views, funny enough. Uh, same with like the muting your PS5 controller. So when I have all these up here, I will say this does seem a little more efficient and it does literally add up a like a different screw like you guys may not think this is any crazy it really isn't that much at all but it's just nice that they are kind of redesigning stuff and changing stuff on the consoles themselves to make it more efficient but the one major thing i want to know about is how it's smaller so it is 300 grams lighter and that is actually a somewhat substantial size when it comes to a next gen console so i'm not sure if they just maybe remove like some outside layers of plastic that are not just being utilized I'm not sure if they maybe actually removed anything internally. Like maybe there's like some extra screws they just didn't need or anything like that. But as of so far from all the leaks and comments and everything we're seeing for these brand new generations, you guys even can kind of see the actual retail numbers too as well for the brand production numbers. It's not a really big change. But once again, uh, the major point for this is if they actually are making big revisions and releasing more stuff for the PS5 digital, that just most likely means we'll have some very, very good news coming up the PlayStation 5 restacks, especially for the digital editions, which are very sought after and harder to produce and they don't make as much money. I think you guys kind of get that point. It's like the major thing that is very exciting for me. So a few little last minute things overall. Uh, number one is probably the biggest comment of like, do you, do you guys even care? I think it's kind of cool to see this as that for all the things I mentioned. Well, maybe some of you guys are like, whatever, it's just a small screw. It's not really that much of a big change up. Who kind of really cares at the end of the day? As well, let me know if you guys will actually see this. Like, we'll probably be watching a lot of the American, European, Italian, maybe even Indian dealers too as well to go and see if these do start like flowing on up. And that would maybe actually be a good sign because I haven't really seen too many PlayStation 5 digital major restock waves in quite some time. So if we can, I'm hyped up for this. I'm very excited for this. And hopefully it'll be turning to really good news for the PS5. But it's also very cool and very nice to see that Sony is trying to make this a little bit more efficient and a little bit more better. But if you guys did enjoy this video, the leaks and all that stuff, comment down below your thoughts. 
Definitely like the video if you guys enjoyed it. We also have the Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc and digital console controller. If you guys would like to go and check throughout the weekend as well, I guess not even the weekend, <laughs> week, the Twitch and Twitter link down below if you guys want to follow up on that. Make sure you guys are subscribed for the PS5 giveaway. I'm going to pop the notifications on as well. Sign up for Weeble, deposit $100. You guys go get free stack, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin and kind of cool news. Love you guys all. I'll see you guys later on throughout today for some more videos.